Yo, welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, a series where information is provided for you to turn into wisdom. I am Laura Shu, back with another episode of Three Wands. Y'all, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the episode, leave a comment telling me how much you love me, how much you love yourself. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, fam. Welcome back. You already know what to do. Like, share, comment. We're going to get into it. Today, we're going to talk about what is purpose. The purpose that the that is being uh, showed to you, these purposes are created by a system that wants you to carry out this purpose to produce that system more money, right? The, the real purpose that you have in this life as a human being is to solely exist. You've already carried out your purpose. Good job. I'm proud of you. Honestly, I'm not proud of you, but good job. <laughs> I don't really, I don't put my pride forward in certain things, really in anything at all, because you deserve to have peace in your life, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of how much you know, regardless of what you provide for other people. But if we want to talk about purpose, the, the true purpose of the human outside of just solely existing is to serve one another. So that's how all of these things around us, because these are all brainchilds, all these different thoughts that we're living inside of. We, are, we exist in uh, many people's thoughts. So these new products that you see, uh, TV shows, films, these are all ideas from humans. We're living in the product of the human mind. So remember, the all is mental, mentalism, okay? So when you're living out your purpose, that purpose is up to you. It can look like anything you want to. And I feel like that can be a lot of pressure on someone. So just keep it simple. To serve one another is very simple. What would you want someone to treat you like? Being that it is positive. You know, some people can be uh, kind of dark. <laughs> so they might like to be served in a dark way which in turn, that's where you go find like-minded individuals so that y'all can serve each other. You gotta find your people, serve. So this same logic applies in business, in life, in love. You find that person. You find that like individual that you can serve properly. And in order to serve them, you have to get to know them, okay? So this is a little game. You take this game how you want. This some, is this some real game, okay? <laughs> you find a person that you want to serve and you serve them and you know everything about serving them. And that's how you become truly successful as a human, as a, a entrepreneur, as an artist, whatever your title might be in life. And also, don't get too caught up in titles. You, you are everything, okay? Because remember, if you're a piece of the divine, that means you too are divine. So that means you're everything you want. So how you want your reality to look can look like anything. But just know, if you really want to be the best, the master, you got to take one thing at a time, master it one thing at a time. And that's why I created three wands. So I can give you all the steps that I did to get myself to become the master that I want to be. Because y'all going along with me. My journey ain't over. I will forever be searching. I will forever be learning. But I hope that what I do can rub off on you as well. And we're all in a world of curiosity and that childlike mentality, but also knowing that our thoughts and feelings and the things that we do will manifest when we're connected with who we are. That's where the real magic of finding your purpose is, is knowing who you actually are and being all right with that. Honestly, being comfortable with who you are will help you discover your purpose almost immediately. Because now there's not all these different barriers of I got to do this and I got to look like this and I got to have this much money and I have to, when people see me, this is what they expect, how I'm supposed to act like, so I got to act like this. No, you do what you want to do and you will truly be a free person inside of this planet to the, to the best of your ability, I would say, because in the reality of things, we can only be as free as what we feel, think, and our perspective on life. You know, a man can be in prison and be free. It just all depends on how you look at the, uh, how you look at the cards that you're given. A lot of people will find excuses 
to be the worst type of themselves, the worst version of themselves. But you have the power to be exactly what you were born to be, which can be a baby, or it can be an emperor, or it can be it can be whatever. But what you decide to do is solely up to you. There is no set path. Everyone chooses to come to this world with a set soul print, genetic code, DNA. But that takes a lot of learning and a lot of connecting with yourself to even access. So first, before you even really watch this series and get deeper into it, because at this point you've already watched the intro video to what the channel is about, who I am, and what I'm offering and value to the people through these videos. This is the video, the bridge, before you get to the book of focus. What is it that you really wanna do? Who are you? If you like this video, like. If you think this video will help someone, share. Leave a comment, let me know how I can make these videos better. If you wanna just say what's up to me, if you wanna shout somebody out, leave an emoji if you just wanna lo show love. You know, just, just uh, engage with me because I want to do more for y'all. And whatever information that I look, I find, I'm always looking for info. Any data that I find, I will share on this channel, okay? So until next time, y'all, holla. Please subscribe to the channel too. Stop playing. <laughs>